G'day and welcome back to the channel. Crispy here from Crispy's Camping Adventures. We're on location, Byfield National Park, which is above Yapoon. Um, we're just at the turn off to head out to the Five Rocks campsite. That's where we're going to be staying for three nights. Um, we've got my best mate and neighbour, Clint Day, CD. Um, the old boy and uh, his mates have already gone up there, so we've got two vehicles um, heading in there because he's our guide. He knows this area like the back of his hand. Um, and then Uncle Johnny's coming in tomorrow. So we're going to head to the where we meet the sand, air down, and um, tackle Big Sandy. We've had a rain cell come through before, so hopefully that might have um, dampened down the, the sand. But we'll take you along for the ride and see how we go. Just heading up Big Sandy. Yeah, fingers crossed we make it. We're in four low. Tires are down to 12. Mitch said to go to 12. Four low, second gear. Let's see how we go. Bog already. work boys
to Stockyard Point. Just having a bit of a look here at the lookout. A bit of coral spawn. I don't know if you'll pick it up on the camera. That stuff that's floating on the on the water. That's Eight Mile Beach. This is the campsite. I don't know how these uh, slat things are going to go, but um, got the camp trailer there. So the awning will come out here, but I've put it right on the edge. So where I flick my bed out, it's going to be on the ground here. So hopefully that'll be all right. There's going to be a couple of tents over there. Boys are getting the stuff out of the ute. Another campsite up here. It's all these slats on the way in too, so you're not going to get bogged in here. It's just getting up big sandy. So, and they're clearly marked. You've got number four here. We've got three, four, and five. Another campsite. You've got your tables and stuff in there. There's um, shower facilities down here. I'll go down there in a minute. Yeah, so there's showers and stuff down there. So I'll go down there once I um, set up the X1. We're all set up. Sorry, We've got the flag up. X1 set up. This is the main party party place. Got a little chair, uh, table here. There's a fire pit here ready. This is where the old boy's sleeping. He's got a eight man instant up tent. Yeah, it's huge. The only one we had. And then we'll walk straight over here to the boys. Looks like they got a King's Big Daddy swag. One of them set up. There we go. These things are awesome. We'll have to get one. King's Big Daddy Deluxe. I don't actually know how much they are, but anyway. Right oh, we got Clint. CD. He's actually got a, a little bed frame and he's got the mattress off the floor. He's got a little thing there set up. He's got some LED lights there. We'll check it out later on tonight. Yeah, and that's it. Just about to go for a drive. Some Freshwater Creek. So what do you reckon of the campsite, boys? Oh, oh bloody good, mate. Bloody good. Good? Bloody Top campsite. Look Top at camp. it. Fan, fan, Fantastic. Yeah, we're all set yeah. up now. Yeah. Time to go reckon? for a bit of a drive. Mitchell Man. We're Mitchell and Man. So this is Mitch. How's it going? You know your way around here, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yep. No, been up here. So where are we going to go for a drive? I'll uh, probably go down on the nine mile to freshwater. Oh yeah. And what's so. the freshwater? Oh it's a freshwater spring that comes out from the like the dunes and then it goes out to salt water. So Yep. And you can swim there? Yeah, yeah. Oh sweet. Yeah, yep. so, Alright, we'll no, go check good. that out. Unload the ute and we'll go check her out. Just go and have a look at the supposed to be showers. It might be just the toilets. We'll have a look. Right, eh? What have we got here? It's just, it's just the long drop. Boom, there you go. And the females. So this is just the um and we are three, four and five. Toilets. It's supposed to be showers, huh? I was pretty much right next to it. Here's the shower here. You 
check it out. Okay. Not drinking water. creek here it's about as far as you can drive the road ends I've got Mitch here he's gonna tell us where we are so whereabouts are we no nah, so we're down there in the nine mile beach yeah um, so yeah this is Willie's Creek at the back here yep um, yeah every now and then you catch a decent flatty or two um, this cryo bay so bay. O over Looks the other side too. I don't know if you can see it on the camera yep but over the other side over there there's uh that that's pretty much Farnborough Beach. Oh yeah. So um yeah, that's that's your poon. Oh okay, your poon's all the way over there, yep. Yeah, yep. So yeah. no, it's pretty nice nice little area. Yeah, so. the beach sand's like real Just a little tight going through here. CD's driving. Oh, probably shouldn't have put it down. <laughs> Sorry guys. You can edit that. Edit that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Susan. <laughs> yeah, she's tight through here. Send it. That's a wild shot. And yeah, that tide's coming. So, uh, along the Nine Mile Beach. There's a couple of campsites. This is Casuarina. I'm pretty sure these campsite campsites along this beach, uh, you're not allowed to have fires. So um, that's why we booked um, five five rocks, and because you can have campfires there. Campsites down is Van Dennis and Luca. Mitch is up there and he's just got bogged. Oh, he's just getting through. So we'll drive up there and we'll have a bit of a look. This is the one where we were going to stay, but um, apparently you can't have um, campfires here, but you can, but as long as it's like a, a fire pit. We got um, cooking here with Big L, and what do we got, Big L? Well, I first started when I came um, out here. I thought I might as well prep it before I um, come out here, and it makes it a lot easier when you're doing this. I but do. um, when um, you're doing the sausage rolls like that, if you just push it out like that, and then take another little bit off of there and put it back in there, but then if it gets a little bit sticky. Well, you just put your hands underneath the water like that, and then you get some more like that, and you start bringing it out again, 
and if you haven't got enough you just get a little bit more and then so the, what, what then the easy part the is the easy part is you just get that you just roll it over and you put it into there like that and then you get a little brush and you just rub that there like that so it seals it yep so what's in your your sausage mix the sausage mix well it was bought up by my you grandfather wanna, you don't want to tell us it was bought up my grandfather and grandmother but I'll let you in on a little secret it's sausage mink onions and a bit of bloody lovely bacon and I'll tell you what bacon they turn out beautiful scroll, yeah. but if you scroll around to a bloke right behind you there Mick and he will tell you how good they are oh mate I can't get enough <laughs> Loved enough. it. Loved They're bloody it. beautiful. No, I did have some before, Far and they, they are bloody sweet. And the quiches. Did you make the quiches yourself I, as well? I, I made the quiches and as I'll well. I'll show you because we've just we've still got some in the Weber Q heating up. And have a look at that. Have a look at that. Right oh. home. And everyone's bloody Giddy up. coughing them down. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm just beating up a little bit of egg and a bit of flavouring and everything like that. And I can't tell you what it is because it's been in the secret. Uh, uh, secret. And, is that your uh, one there? Yeah. That one? Mine. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you going to eat that? Yeah. Yeah. True. Well, and then you just baste them a little bit like that. Yeah. So they hold together. And um, Bob's yarn. Go, go a bit brown. Nice and and cool. his yarn cool and me Pop goes a weasel. Yeah. Yeah. She's pretty much ready. We've got another silver tray like that. Yeah. Fill that up and um, yeah, chuck them in the Weber BBQ. Damn, we're going to eat well. Yeah. That's it. We're going to eat well. Yeah. We're eating well. Yeah. Right, hey, eh? here we go. Welcome back to the channel, Crispy's Camping Adventures, and we're going to do a comparison with the lights. And we got me Falcon light, and we got the Ryobi LED high beam, and I got me. Good mate Mitch to uh, grab the Ryobi. And um, so, what's the size of the battery on that sucker? So, the battery on this here is 5 amper. Um, and how many aluminums is it? Uh, 2500. 2500. So, if you, if you so look right at the CS, she's, she's pretty bright. Oh, I don't know if you can follow that. Look at that. Right. That's pretty good. Oh, she's pretty. Pretty bright. Pretty bright. Right, I will turn on me uh, me Falcon light. Hang on, that's on spread. Right, oh, that's, that's the awesome. spread. Oh, you got a right, candle. put the <laughs> put the Ryobi on. Hey, turn the lights on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So the Ryobi is uh, oh, a lot it's more. Superior. It's, it's the way you're looking for. It's a lot. It's got a spread on it. This is only like a tiny, yeah, looking thing. So yeah, 25 aluminums. That's it and there. And the good thing about these um, Ryobis is that one battery fits chainsaws, bloody brush cutters, brush cutters, the whole range of like Almost. stuff. So yeah, Ryobi light is the go. Have a look at the front of it. Yeah, have a look at those LEDs. Yeah, she's bright. Well, there you go. And then we're going to go crabbing. Oh, we're going to get some crabs. Hopefully. Mud crabs. She'll be good. She'll be good. So we're out here. We're out here crabbing. It's about ankle deep. Croc infested waters. We're looking for mud crabs. This is where they reckon they find them. So, prawns. There's prawns in here. Yeah, no, there's heaps here. I told you about them, didn't I? So have a look down here. 
That is a stingray right there. Look at him. He's right there. I'll leave him alone, but that's what you're looking at. Yeah. little fella down here. Hey, what's he doing? Just sitting there. 